What's up you guys? I have my airpod in so I'm kind of jamming right now. I'm listening to I'm Her by Queen Naja. Naja? It is currently 5.15 in the morning. 5.15 if you can see that. 5.15 in the morning. I have a full, full face of makeup on. My hair is ready. Why, you may ask? <laughs> okay, so basically, um, we are going to El Paso. So let me break this down for you guys really quick because I feel like I need to break it down. So basically, I've had <laughs> my life, I swear. Okay, so basically, me and my best friend, we had this planned trip. We planned this trip back in July. Um, so basically, we planned to go on the weekend we were going to go friday saturday and we were going to come back sunday our plan was we were going to go you know we were going to get oh i'm getting lip fillers yes i'm getting lip fillers because your girl ain't got no lips so it's time it is time to get some lip fillers so i'm going to el paso to get some lip fillers we planned this trip in july and um the we were going to go just the weekend and we were going to come back sunday and it, w it worked out perfect because um that this weekend coming up is my kids weekend with their dad so I was like perfect it works out perfect we can go to El Paso we can turn up have fun whatever so we had it all planned we had planned what we we're gonna do like we we're gonna have so much fun so that was the plan in July I had already I already paid for my lip fillers and everything so you know it was already paid for it's already paid for so then August comes and August said you thought basically <laughs> August comes and I get both of my kids um i get both of my kids um sports schedule so melina they they sent me um her schedule for august and she has cheer this saturday coming up so like they sent me hers her schedule first and they it basically said that she has cheer saturday at eight o'clock so i was like okay cool I was like, i'll just tell my kid's dad to take her um you know it ain't a thing like he can just take her but wrong i ended up getting andrew's um his andrew ha andrew starts baseball this month and his first game is this saturday so then i got his schedule and his first baseball game is saturday at 10 and melina has cheer from 8 to 10 30 and andrew has to be at his baseball game at 10 o'clock so I was like, there's no way that my kid's dad's going to be able to do this by himself. Like, he's going to need me to help him. So then I ended up telling my best friend, I was like, you know what? We're just going to have to shorten our trip. We're just going to have to go for Friday, go go there and come back. You know, like, that's just what it's going to be. Like, we're just going to have to come back. I'm going to have to be back by Saturday morning so I can take my kids to do what they got to do. <sighs> then, was this recording or not? I'm tripping. Anyways. So then I would say maybe like the second week of August, because we are in the third week of August, I believe. So the second week of August, my kid's dad, my baby daddy, he texts me and tells me that he's going to be out of town on the weekend. That is his weekend with the kids, with our children. So then I was just like, all right, what am I going to do, right? So then I was just like, okay, I'm like, cool. I'm like, my sister can just watch the kids while we go to El Paso for one freaking day, get my lips done, and then we'll come back. That was the plan, right? Then my best friend texts me on, on, I think it was Sunday, Sunday or Monday, and she tells me that she has COVID. And I'm like, why is this happening to me? Like, what are, like, all odds are against me. Like, is this a sign that I don't need to go to El Paso? I don't need to get fillers? Like, maybe I'm just going to look like a freaking duck. Like, maybe I just don't need to go and get fillers. Like, maybe that's just what it is. But then I was like, no because i had already paid for my filler and i've been wanting to get lip fillers for the longest i've been like i don't like i've just been wanting to get fillers for the longest i just need some damn lips okay so then i was just like okay what am i gonna do relax what are we gonna do so then i was like you know what I just told my sister, I'm like, can you just come with me? Because the plan was my sister was going to watch the kids. But then my sister said that she was down to come and to come with me. So we're like, okay, cool. I'm like, my mom will watch, will watch my kids and me and my sister will go. But then me and my sister were kind of like, you know, we're driving to El Paso by ourselves. Like, what if we get kidnapped? 
So then we just told my dad, we're like, dad, do you want to come with us? And my dad real quick said yes. He literally dropped everything that he had to do for these next two days and he's down to come. My dad is very adventurous. He loves to travel. So he's never been to El Paso before. And you know, El Paso is, eight, is an eight hour drive. So we're driving, of course. This is like another, another like 16 hour drive like how we did to Florida, except it's eight hours there and eight hours back. So it's basically the same thing. I don't know. But anyway, so basically this trip, this whole thing turned into like a two day trip with my sister, my dad, and my kids. So my appointment is tomorrow and we leave, if we're leaving today, my dad is gonna pick me up at six o'clock in the morning. It's 5.22 a.m. And we are gonna, we're supposed to get there at about 2 p.m. So we're gonna go, we're gonna explore, we're gonna see what El Paso's about. My dad said he's wanting to go to Ciudad Juarez, but I really don't know if that's gonna happen or not. And then, yeah, you guys, so I will bring you guys along so you guys can see the process of me getting my lips done. So that's pretty much it. Oh, let me show you guys the drip. Okay, so I'm wearing the queen herself, Selena. Just a nice, just a big oversized t-shirt, some biker shorts, and estamos estrenando some new shoes. I just got these in. So by the way you guys, I got this yesterday. I'm so excited to try it. I got the Taste Salud, the Energy and Focus. I got the Guayaba, the Guayaba, and the pineapple one. I'm over here reading it in, in Spanish and in English. Piña mango, pineapple, pineapple man mango. Agua fresca basically. But yeah, so um, I just got these in yesterday and I'm so excited to try them because I have been addicted to Celsius. Um, I literally drink a Celsius almost every day, but I only I drink it as a pre-workout and as soon as I drink it Like my body just tells me to go work out like I love how it makes me feel but then like my homegirl told me that um, She heard that Celsius is causing heart disease and I was like What I was like what girl? So yeah, look at this. Well, I pretty much pretty much ran out, but I, I Literally I stock up at Sam's Club, but I only have I have like quite a few left but today I am going to try, uh, I think I'm going to try their Wayaba one because we're going to be on the road and I'm going to be working. Um, so I have to use my hotspot on the road there. So I'm going to try it out. And I also got this cute, um, what is this, like a flask? I think that's what it's called. But yeah, so we're going to try it and see how I like it. And we're going to do that right now because I'm like stalling right now. I got to hurry up. Oh my god. That is really good.
next day. Outfit of the day. Tupac. White tee. Oh, wait. And then we got the matching shoes. Cute. Mood. Let's see your outfit, baby. Beautiful. Oh, mommy. You ready? Come in, come in. Oh, you got some cookies in there. Oh. <laughs> You need a haircut, baby. Uh -uh. Let's show them the fit. Outfit of the day. All right, come here. We're currently leaving the hotel. Hey, Mommy, you need a We We are about to go to Scenic Drive. It's supposed to be like this place where we get to see the view of all of, where we get to see the view of all of El Paso. And then we're gonna go eat, Hi. and then after that, we should be going to my appointment. We are definitely tourists. We literally stopped on the side of the road to come and take uh, pictures of this view. So beautiful and then like the mountains are ridiculous my dad is me we made it to scenic drive overlook And the weather here is amazing. Let's check it out. See how it is. Yeah. the shooting about three years ago and then they have this um what is this trying what did you say what is this it's yeah it's, it's like it's the memorial of all the people that lost their lives in the shooting <laughs> so sad all right we can <laughs> We came to Dick's to buy, Andrew has his first game tomorrow, and I came to buy him a glove and uh, some shoes. But he wants to, he wants to try it. You wanna try it? Yeah. All right. But how are you gonna catch it, like this? So we came to Dick's, and look at my dad. <laughs> oh yeah, baseball ready. You ready? Yeah. All right, let's go. You give me a bat and a glove. 
Yes. Mm, give me a back. Well, they're gonna they're gonna give you a bat and a jersey. And my lips feel very, very numb right now. So. Yesterday, <laughs> drank right, this morning. Oh, why are they got one beer? That's why. <laughs> just put some lipstick on so it kind of probably looks you know guess it's been two weeks I don't even know if you guys can even tell um, the only reason why I say that is because I feel like I can't tell only because it's just me like it's my lips I just keep staring at them and I'm just like I feel like they should be bigger but um, yeah this is the result so far um, I have been getting a lot of compliments though on them and a lot of people are telling me that they look they look good and um, every single time like I, I run into somebody I'm like can you tell I'm like can you tell that I got lip fillers but yeah so I got a full syringe I ended up getting um, half on top half on bottom and then she did put Botox right here on top of my lips so whenever I smile whenever I smile um, my lip it like flips up because without it like whenever I was smiling my lip was going in and we don't want to do that right now so um, she ended up putting Botox right here and um, so yeah this is pretty much the results but I kind of feel like I'm definitely gonna go back to get more because I don't know I just feel like they could be bigger I feel like maybe on the outside they could be a little bit wider that's just me my preference so I'm gonna keep it like this for she did tell me that it lasts about a year, but 
So I might wait a year or I might wait six months and then go back and get some more, but we'll see. But yeah, this is the result of my damn lips. I did have a few asking me, um, why did I go all the way to El Paso to get my lips done? And only because, so the girl that did my lips on Instagram, she's Injections by Sonia, and I have been following her for a while, and I love her work. And I love how she did my lips. I just feel like they can be, I feel like I could go for another syringe because my lips were really, really thin and really small. I've been loving her work, I've been following her, and then I only paid $3.90. They were doing um, like a special or whatever. Um, and then I did go to two consultations here, and they were charging me 600, they, it was ranging 600 to 700. So I was like, say less, I'm gonna go to El Paso, get my lips done. And she was really nice, I really liked her. So I will definitely be going back to her for another syringe. Um, but yeah, this is it. But anyway, oh, let me. Anyway, so I am going to go ahead and end the video here. I did go do a little bit of shopping today. I went to Bath & Body Works. I love Bath & Body Works. I'm going to show you what I got, girl. So I got this marshmallow pumpkin latte. Okay. Oh, girl. So I'm not, like, a fan of pumpkin. Like, I feel like everybody's always like pumpkin latte, pumpkin this, pumpkin that. And I'm not like a fan of that. I don't really care for it. But it doesn't smell bad. Like, this smells pretty good. So I went ahead and I bought it. Today's September 2nd. So yeah, September 2nd. So I went ahead and I took out all of my fall decorations. So I said, why not go ahead and start buying like soaps and candles to go with it? You know what I mean? So that's pretty much what I'm going to be doing tonight. I got this fall festival one. Oh my god, it smells amazing. I got this um, salted butterscotch one. Amazing, I love it. And I ended up getting these plugins, one for my restroom and one for like out here for my living room. And like I plug it right here in my kitchen area, but it literally like covers up my whole living area you know what i mean i got them in the fall festival um scent and it actually smells really good i really like it i went out to eat with one of my friends and we had a few drinks <laughs> so i'm not like drunk or anything but you know she's feeling a little good i don't know if it's just me or if it's just i'm just dumb as fuck like literally okay i bought my baby andrew a bat so he started baseball last Saturday. He has a game tomorrow. So today's Friday. He has a game tomorrow, Saturday morning. I bought him a bat. <laughs> I could not stand myself. Okay, hold on. First time baseball mom. Okay, I did not, <laughs> like, I don't know these things yet. Okay, I'm learning as the days go by. Last week, I went to Academy and I was buying Andrew pretty much like everything that he needed for baseball. He didn't necessarily need a bat because they uh, provide those for them whenever we go to the games. But whenever we were there, I, you know, I was over there just like buying him, you know, like his like his clothing, like what he needed, like his pants, some whatever, socks, whatever, you know, whatever it is that he needed. So then, you know, Andrew picks out a bat and he was like, mommy, I want this bat. And I was like, okay, baby, go ahead. Like, I'll get it for you. It was only $11. This is the bat that he chose and it's a wood bat, <laughs> a wood bat, right? So I'm just like, I didn't even like, I don't, I didn't pay attention to like what type of bat it was. I didn't even know that the type of bat mattered because like, I don't really watch baseball like that like I do but I don't I don't really pay attention I'm more of a football girl I love football ask me anything about football and I got you but when it comes to baseball I'm just kind of like I like going to like the games and stuff but like I don't really pay attention to like what kind of bat they're using anyways so I get to his game and you know they don't need to take their own bat because like I said they provide a bat for them there so Andrew was really excited to take his bat and he was like, oh, he's like, mommy, I want my bat, whatever. So we get there and then Andrew's dad was like, why did you get him a wood bat? And I was like, what do you mean? It was like, why would you get him a wood bat? He's like, he needs a metal bat. And I'm just like, oh, I'm like, well, I didn't know that. Like, I don't know these things. 
he kind of like went like this and he, like he was like embarrassed that i got my son a wood bat because apparently wood sucks and you're supposed to have metal bat <laughs> and i didn't know that andrew ended up like taking his bat like because he wanted to go bat and like his coach told him let's use a metal bat like he literally put this bat to the side and i was like Que vergüenza. So I went today and I got him a metal bat. And I could definitely tell because this bat was $11. It was on sale. And this one was $50. So she's learning. I literally talk way too much. I talk a lot. I forgot that I had some wine in my fridge. So she's pouring up a little bit. Thank you so much for watching my video i hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you guys on the next video bye guys